The Magic of Counter Pulley. You should not express your opinion first. Ask the other person what he thinks about the matter at hand. If the other person adheres to his viewpoint, then you should let go of your opinion. All you need to make sure of is that the other person does not get hurt in any way. Do not attempt to impose your opinion upon others. Accept the other person's viewpoint. I have accepted everyone's opinion and have become a gnani. I never push my opinion on others. No one should be hurt by your opinion. If your mental revolutions are at a speed of 1800 revolutions per minute and the other person's revolutions are at 600 and you try to force your opinion on that person his engine will break down and all the gears will have to be replaced Dada what do you mean by revolutions Revolution refers to the speed at which a person thinks it varies from person to person if something happens these thought processes can show you so many things in just one minute it can show you so many different phases at a time a president's revolutions may be 1200 per minute mine are at 5000 and lot mahavir's were 100000 What is the cause behind clashes? If your wife has 100 revolutions and you have 500, you do not know how to employ a counter pulley to slow down your revolutions. This results in arguments, clashes and fights and sometimes the whole engine may break. Do you understand what I mean by revolutions? If you talk to a laborer he will not understand what you are trying to say because his revolutions are at 50 and yours are at 500 people's revolutions are according to their level of development he will understand what you are saying only after you insert a counter pulley and slow your revolutions down i use a counter pulley with everyone Therefore I do not have conflicts with anyone I know that the person I am dealing with has only so many revolutions and therefore I adjust the counter pulley accordingly Removal of the ego alone is not enough to make the other person understand you Counter pulley must also be applied I get along with small children because I apply a counter pulley with them too. If I did not, then their engine would break. Does this mean that a meaningful conversation can only occur when we come down to the level of the other person? Yes. You will be able to communicate with them only when you come to their level of revolutions. If you do not know how to apply a counter pulley, what fault is it of the engine with lesser revolutions? Learn how to install a fuse. You just have to recognize how the machinery works. If the fuse blows, how should you replace it? You should know how to adjust to the other person's nature. I adjust when the other person blows his fuse. What happens when the other person can adjust no more? The fuse blows out. There is darkness and he bumps into the wall or the door. However, the wire is still intact. If someone fixes the fuse, it will work again. Until then, he will continue to be frustrated. Short life, long troubles. The greatest suffering comes when one fails to adjust. Why not adjust everywhere? It requires effort, dada. No effort is needed. You just have to follow my agnya, that is directions, by saying, "Dada has told us to adjust everywhere." The adjustments will then follow. If your wife calls you a thief, then you should tell her that she is right. 
and if she wants to buy a sari, just give her a few extra rupees. One day of Brahma is equal to one whole lifetime. Why all these hassles just to live one day of Brahma? If you were to live 100 years of Brahma, then the argument why should we adjust is reasonable and you could then start making your claims. But if you want to end this quickly, what should you do? Should you adjust or fight back? Life is too short. Your work needs to be finished quickly by adjusting everywhere. When you quarrel with your wife, are you able to sleep at night? And in the morning, do you get a decent breakfast? Adopt the Gnani's Technique One night, a wife pleads with her husband to buy her a sari. When he asks her how much it is, she tells him it costs only 2,200 rupees. The husband tells her he would gladly buy it if it cost 200 or 300 rupees. But they cannot afford to buy such an expensive sari. The wife gets upset and begins to sulk. What kind of a problem has been created? He even begins to regret getting married. What use is regret after the fact? This is suffering. Dada, are you saying that the husband should buy her the 2200 rupees sari? It all depends upon him whether to buy it or not. Her disgruntled attitude will continue and every night she will threaten not to cook. From where will he get another cook? He will have to buy it even if he has to borrow the money. He should make the situation such that she herself would not want to buy the sari. If he was earning 800 rupees a month, he should keep 100 rupees for his personal expenses and if he gave the remaining 700 rupees, is she likely to ask him to buy a 2200 rupee sari? If she had to manage the finances and running the household, is she likely to buy such an expensive sari? Then he could even tease her a little and tell her, that sari is very nice, why don't you buy it? The decision would then fall on her shoulders. She should do her own budgeting, but naturally she will pressure him if he takes the matters in his own hands. I learnt this art before I attained Gnan. It was much later that I became a Gnani. I acquired Gnan after I discovered ways of dealing with difficult situations. You have problems because you do not have this approach. Yes, it is correct. Did you understand this? The fault is all yours. You must learn this art. Ignorance, the root cause of conflict. Dada, what causes conflicts? Is it incompatibility? Conflicts arise because of ignorance. Ignorance of the real self and of the world. In this world, the natural characteristics of every individual are different. Once you attain this knowledge of the self, there is only one solution. Adjust everywhere. If someone hits you, you must adjust to him. I am showing you a simple and straightforward solution to resolve your conflicts. 
These conflicts do not occur every day. They only occur when your past karmas are ready to give their results. Adjust when this happens. If a fight occurs with your wife, make her happy afterwards by taking her out for dinner. From now on, the strain in your relationship should not linger. Nothing in this world will adapt to us. But if we are able to fit into it, the world will be good to us. If we try to make the world adapt to us, then it will be awkward. Therefore, adjust everywhere. If we fit into it, there will be no problems.